Praise be to Jesus. Good morning friends. Today the fourth Sunday of Tanaha. Readings are Genesis chapter 29 verses 1 to 14, Second Kings chapter 17 verses 24 to 28, Hebrews chapter 6 verses 1 to 12, and the Gospel of St. John chapter 4 verses 1 to 26. Gospel of St John chapter 4 verses 1 to 6 26 shows how Jesus revealed himself to an outcast the Samaritan woman on his way to Galilee from Judea Jesus passed through Samaria in the city of Sychar near the well of Jacob the master and the disciples halted for lunch break The disciples went to the city to buy food. Jesus sat at the well. A Samaritan woman of loose character came to the well to draw water. King Hosea of Israel rebelled against the Assyrian king Shalmaneser V by not paying taxes to him. The Assyrian king besieged Samaria for 3 years. In BC 722, Samaria was captured by Sargon II, successor to Shalmaneser V. The people of Samaria were deported to Babylon. From different cities of Babylon, people were brought to Samaria and resettled there. When several of them were killed by the attack of lions, Jewish priests were sent to Samaria to resume Jewish way of worshiping in order to appease the god of the Jews. The resettled Babylonians and the remnant Jews in Samaria entered into marital relationships. The Samaria developed into a province of mixed race mixed religion and mixed culture the jews looked down upon the samaritans second kings chapter 17 verses 24 to 28 jacob was running away from the wrath of his brother esau whom he had cheated he had the dream of the ladder reaching up to heaven The next day he found the well from which shepherds were watering their sheep. At the well he met Rachel, his uncle's daughter. Jacob kissed Rachel and cried aloud because he could not contain his emotions. Jesus was sitting at this well. Ask him for a glass of water. Jesus started the conversation. Step by step, the topic of conversation entered the inner being of the woman who confessed who she was. Jesus gave her the life-giving water and revealed himself to her. Lord, we thank you for you did not restrict your denaha to the righteous alone. You have revealed yourself to the sinners and to the outcasts. Give us the life-giving water which will become a spring gushing forth from within us. Amen.